Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I'm out on my Suron Light B exploring new spots, sending it and having the best day ever. So let's get into the action. First spot we've come to then is this little skate park here, specifically for the fact that you can fly out of this bowl here and land off the side on these perfect landings. So let's get a little warm up and roll around. Oh yes! You can do well good tyre slides on this bit here. So as soon as the back wheel touches you can like power and it kicks out, look. Oh yo! Oh! That feels well cool. Let's try and get my arms off then. Air that. Suey that! Oh, yo! While you've got the fish eye, actually, let's try and do down table on this proper hip to hip. Ooh, little down table, that was well nice. This thing's, oh, love it so much. Let's fly out of there and try and get some like no footed tricks going, like maybe no foot can. We'll start with just a no foot one hander. Oh! <laughs> Well, I want to do some no foot cans. Let me just get used to that out of there. Yeah, that's going to be fine. That one kicked me a bit weird. That no foot can was pretty good. The landing's actually way more of an impact than I thought. Let's get a little fakie here. I'll like go up, stall the front, and then half cab out. Oh, <laughs> up, Manny, Manny along, Manny along again. This has been well fun on this thing. Let's go and find a new spot. We've now come to the next spot, which is right by the beach here. It's a glorious day overlooking that brown murky water. But what we have here is a sort of pebbly landing and we can take off from that bit of grass there and you can just kind of come with a bit of speed down there and then this makes into a big tabletop. It's well good. Let's give it a go. Oh, yo. That's unreal. Straight back up. That's huge. Let me see. That's it. That was a sick little tabletop then, although you didn't get much airtime out of it. So we're going to move on already. And see what other fun stuff we can find. Come on. Right, we're just coming back to the car and I've spotted a full 180 berm that's basically a wall ride. Look. It's insane. <laughs> We've turned up at the fork snapping central where the wooden bike broke. This is the hip then, it should be epic on this. You'll probably have to go like 90 foot. Let's see how it let's see how it goes. Oh, that's the best. Unreal. Let's celebrate with a wheelie towards Louis. Wee. I have to say, this stock suspension is well good. It looks steezy upside down and actually works like a dream. Should we go slow mo? Just like. Oh. <laughs> that scared me so much. Oh my god, that feels so good, just flying on this thing, on that perfect long landing. We're now going to go over there and see if we can get a little lap on that pump track. Come on. We just come over to the pump track because we thought that this might be like a little super cross track on this thing and could be maybe the best day of my life. Let me do a quick lap to see what it's like first. Oh my god, it's going to literally blow minds. Could I just break something on the bike? I just broke the 
the uh, broke the belt. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. That is actually my fault because the last time I went on it, mud got stuck all under it and was stretching it. So ah, I've got another belt at home. Let's go fix it quick. Basically, if you look in here, you'll see that that little rubber bit runs around this. But from the last session, this was filled with mud, so it made the, this band stretch, basically. So anyway, we're gonna fit this new one on and then get back straight into the action. We've now arrived at this sick spot. There's like this perfect hip here, look at this. You can blast that. It looks like this, see? Flat out. Oh my goodness, that is literally the best thing on earth. Let's hammer it. Oh, you can fully, fully moto whip it. Let's get a like leg dangle. Oh my God, the bike was upside down. That was such a good hip there. I'm gonna to have to come back and session that again for sure. In the back though, if you zoom in, Louis, like that's where I've got a huge double. You've seen it before in other videos, but I mean, we're right next to it. You might as well have another sesh, come on. Got a spade as well, so we can just tune this lip up a bit. They look quite good already. I'll give it a little uh, spruce though. There we go, that gap's done then. It's quite a big one. If you stand on there, you'll see I hit that berm widely open and brap, it's about 20 foot. Biggest sir on gap around, that's for sure. Here we go then, the big gap. Oh, wow, that's well cool. Every time, that just feels amazing. Oh. Unreal. Let me try and like whip it a bit, actually. Freestyle moto. Oh, we gotta get a slomes, didn't we? Wow, they're like the best whips I've ever done on the Suron. They feel like kind of moto -y. I mean, I think a longer, better landing would feel much safer, but they're pretty good for that. Next to it is a smaller option. I think I can get one of them like upside down sort of one leg table things. Let's give that a go. You can, oh my God, I went too fast. But yeah, you can go into that there then. Let's get a smaller run up. Let's try and get that thing upside down. We got a slow bit. That was well good. A few whips on there, spruced up them takeoffs. Let's just smash that berm behind you on the way out because it looks well sandy and deep. Oh, oh my God, I went in way too hard. Hammer time. Oh. What a fun sesh that was. This thing's unreal. All of that shredding, still got 70% battery. Unbelievable, absolutely love the Suron. We got some big old whips then, jumps, leg downs. What a day. But that is unfortunately all we have time for from this session. If you wanna see more Suroning, definitely let us know. But on that bombshell of absolute fun, excitement, biking, throttle twisting and airtime, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments. And we see if you subscribe. See you in the next one.